NDP Liberal government is once again hiring foreign mercenaries to shoot deer on a BC island. The cost? It will cost taxpayers over $12 million to cull less than 900 invasive deer. This while local hunters had previously removed over 2,000 of the invasive fallow deer for free. Why is the minister wasting $12 million on a deer hunt Canadian hunters said they'd do for free? The Honourable Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, uh, I have no knowledge of this issue. We will look into it and get back to the members. <laughs> the answers are at the top of the CN Tower on the exterior. The you must climb once again, young Padawan. From Rockies. Mr. Speaker, we have Canadian hunters that say they would even pay to hunt these deer, yet the NDP Liberals have found a way to make it cost millions. Wow. From Scott Carpenter, it's a real slap in the face to Canadian hunters, and there's millions of us in this country who would have been more than happy to spend our own money to go in there and harvest some of the meat ourselves. To invite foreigners into the country because they felt we were incapable of doing it ourselves is insulting to say the least. What does this NDP Liberal government have against Canadian hunters? The Honourable Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. I said, Mr. Speaker, we will look into it and get back to the member as fast as possible. Thank you. Shame, shame, shame. The Honourable Member from Red Deer Lacombe. Well, it just goes to show, Mr. Speaker, if it's not climate change, they don't know anything about it. In 2015, the Prime Minister told Canadians that you don't need an AR-15 to bring down a deer. Yet he's hired foreign mercenaries with semi-automatic rifles and large-capacity magazines to do just that. These NDP Liberals are spending $12 million to cull a few hundred deer on Sydney Island. The waste is typical. The hypocrisy is palpable. Why why does this Prime Minister continue to demonize hunters while finding the most expensive way to do something that local hunters would have done for free? There's a conversation which is happening between members who should take that conversation oh behind, the, uh, behind the read, uh, behind the uh, curtains uh, while the Honourable Member is speaking and the Honourable Minister is going to end just, uh, answer. So the Honourable Minister for the Environment and Climate Change. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I repeated to my answer to the question twice, so now I'll re reply in French. I'll get back to the member as quickly as possible. Thank you. The Honourable Member from Kitchener South Hesper. Mr. Speaker, the Canadian Task Force on Preventative Health just announced their updated breast cancer screening guidelines. I am disappointed that the guidelines do not reflect concerns put forward by many Canadians. Can the Minister of Health please share his views on the Task Force recommendations? The Honourable Minister of Health. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I, I share the member's concern. I uh, was concerned and disappointed, frankly, uh, at the recommendations that were there. Uh, they do not seem to comport to the experts that I've spoken to across the country. That's why I've asked immediately for the Chief Public Health Officer uh, to review this independent uh, uh, task force decision to make sure we convene the best uh, and best uh, the best science and the best uh, experts to be able to inform the decision that makes sure that every woman in this country uh, gets the guidance they need to protect their health. The Honourable Member from South Okanagan 